This is Hayato with 9to5Google taking a look at a new launcher called LaunchAir. Yes, you heard me right in the intro, this launcher is called LaunchAir and it doesn't take much imagination to figure out where they got the name. It's made by a developer who goes by DeleteScape on XDA, and it's built on the idea of more or less replicating the Pixel Launcher, all while adding a bit more customization. It feels almost identical to the Pixel Launcher by default, but jumping into the settings immediately shows off a myriad of new options. In the UI tab, you can apply icon packs, change themes, resize grids, even make fine-tuned adjustments like how much blur you want behind the interface, and how much horizontal space widgets can occupy. In behavior, you can set shortcuts like swiping down on the home screen to access notifications and swiping up for apps, as well as enabling vibration throughout the launcher. Finally, in the Pixel Style section of the settings, you can decide whether or not you want to see the Google Search Pill and Date widgets, though for now, LaunchAir is missing the Google Weather widget. You can also choose to enable or disable the Google Now feed, which is one of the most significant parts of LaunchAir. In previous videos, we've discussed why most third-party launchers can't display the Google Now feed, but LaunchAir's residence on XDA rather than the Google Play Store keeps this feature alive and well. Just keep in mind that does mean you'll have to manually check back on the XDA post periodically for updates. Especially considering how fully featured LaunchAir already is in such an early state, it's definitely worth trying out, and you might even decide to keep it as your default LaunchAir. <clears throat> Launcher.